How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here and today I'm going to give you guys five easy ways to improve in Brawlhalla. I say these are easy ways because anybody can learn to do these things. No matter if you're bronze or diamond already, these are five things that you should do or should be trying to do to get better at Brawlhalla. And if you do these things and you're not diamond already, I'm pretty sure you will get diamond if you master these five tips that I'm about to give you guys. And seeing as it's only five tips, obviously I'm not going to cover everything that there is to cover in how to get better in Brawlhalla. Uh, I don't want to give you information overload, so to speak. So this is more like a chapter in the book on how to get better at Brawlhalla. However, this would be chapter one in my opinion, okay? At number one, we have learn how to do dodge reads and also just how to be better in, at dodging in general when you're playing defense. Now, when I say dodge reads, I'm talking about when you're on offense, okay? Like people are generally predictable. You know, the better the opponent, the more unpredictable they will be. And we'll talk about that when we get to defense. But when you're on offense, if you're playing somebody every now and then, you just have to try to go for a dodge read. So a dodge read is like if you have scythe, for example, and you hit somebody with a scythe neutral light, a lot of times people will dodge down or whatever the case. If they dodge down, remember that. And then a little bit later on in the game, if you hit a scythe neutral light, you just have to assume that they're going to dodge down again because people are predictable and they tend to do the same things. And even though you can dodge in eight different directions in this game, if you're in the air, a lot of people will dodge the same way. So after you hit that scythe neutral light the second time, you're ready and you're going to hit them with a string or a sig that will just, you know, do a lot more damage. And you, you basically are a step ahead. Okay. That's, that's what good players are always trying to do, is they're trying to read what you're going to do next. Okay, you don't want to be trying to do dodge reads constantly, because it can leave you open. And if they think that that's what you're doing, they'll try to do the opposite, and they'll read your dodge read. But, you know, every now and then you do want to try to do a dodge read. And on defense, you want to try to be unpredictable as possible when you're dodging. You want to try to dodge different direction, especially when they hit you with light attacks, especially for playing against a very good player. Okay. Now, obviously you don't want to dodge into a position where you're going to get punished or anything because certain light attacks, you, you really want to only dodge certain ways. But generally, any no matter what you're hit with, you can dodge away in a, at least a few different directions safely. So you just want to change up which direction you're safely dodging away each time. Number two, learn the basic strings for the weapons and use them often. Just use them all the time. <laughs> um, for example, on sword, a basic bread and butter string would be like downlight side air. Just do it all the time if you can. Downlight side air, downlight side air, or downlight recovery. Those are just, that's just a basic bread and butter string on orb. Side light, side air, side light, side air. Uh, with scythe, neutral light, neutral air. You know, every weapon basically has some basic bread and com bread and butter combos. I'm not going to go over what they all are. You guys can look that up yourself or figure it out. But every weapon has basic strings, and you need to be able to do them and do them often. Okay. Number three, learn the startup animations for every signature attack. For every legend. For every weapon. <laughs> I know that sounds like a lot because it is. Uh, Brahalla has 49 legends in the game. So if you're just starting, that's a lot to learn. Just that step right there is a lot to learn. But it's, it is it is something that you will learn. Even if you're not even really trying to. You just will. Just by playing the game. But if you're focusing on learning it, you'll learn it faster. The reason you want to learn the startup animations for every signature, for every weapon, is because that way you'll be able to know exactly where the hitbox is and the timing and how and when to punish 
those signatures. This is basically how you beat SIG spammers, okay? Number four, learn how to move fast by dashing, dodge jumping, platform dashing, etc. And use it all the time. Always be trying to move quickly. Okay, I will say that it is okay to stand still every time, every now and then just to throw your opponent off. But for the most part, you want to be moving quickly because you're going to be harder to hit. And if you are just moving a lot faster than your opponent is, it's just going to be easier for you to punish their attacks, punish their signatures, right? Or, or even their light attacks, okay? In the lower ranks, I, I see this a lot where people are not moving fast. And when I say moving fast, I mean dashing. You want to be dodge dashing constantly. You want to be dodge jumping a lot. Platform dashing a lot. If you don't know how to do this well, go into training and practice, practice, practice until you can do it without even thinking. Okay? This alone will help you a lot in this game. And at number five... I have be able to look at a loss or a win and learn from it. I've been saying learn a lot in this video. Learn basic strings, learn startup animations, learn dodging, learn, learn, learn. Be open to learning. If you see someone do something cool, try to learn what they did. You don't have to ask them, just watch the replay in slow motion. See what they did. You can do it. If somebody else did it, you can do it too. Obviously, some things are harder to do than others, depending on your skill level. But if somebody else can do it, so could you. You just have to practice it. Okay? A lot. I'm doing that all the time. If I watch a pro player do something cool, like Sandstorm do a cool scythe string or a cool scythe read, I want to do that too. I'm trying to learn from it. Obviously, I may not pull it off as consistently or whatever because the pros practice all the time. But that's the thing, the more you practice, the more you learn, the better you will get at this game. Always be trying to learn. Blaming the opponent for their play style, or their legend, or their weapon, when you lose, is not going to help you get better. I know that it's okay when we get emotional in this game. It's a fighting game, it's a, it's a competitive game we all get emotional i get emotional when i win and when i lose both and um you have to try to harness that emotion and turn it into determination to get better turn that emotion into determination to get to learn and get better don't turn the emotions of losing and turn it into negativity and start insulting the opponent the, if you lost, you got outplayed, period. You got outplayed if you lost. Unless, of course, there was lag. You know, that's the only legitimate excuse, really, if you lost, is if there was lag. All right, just to sort of recap everything we went over. I, again, I didn't want to make this into a huge book on how to get better in Brawlhalla. I just wanted to make it kind of a bite-sized information so that, you know, if you're a newer player, just focus on these five things, and I promise you will get way, way better. And if you're already an established player, we are always trying to do these five things. I've had 2,600 hours in this game. I've gotten diamond 14 times. And I'm still always trying to get better at these five things. Some of them I've pretty much mastered, like the uh, signature startups. I, I know all of those. I still jump into signatures every now and then. <laughs> But, you know, the basic strings for the weapons, the dodge reads on offense and on defense, learn how to move quickly by dashing and dodge jumping, platform dashing, and be able to look at a loss or a win and learn from it. At the beginning of every match, you start out completely equal with the opponent. Whatever they did and whatever you did determines the winner. But always be trying to learn that's basically the motto of this video and that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed this if you did please drop a like it really helps me out on that youtube algorithm 
Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. I'm always putting it out there. And as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.